My name's Yannick, Yannick Reed. I would like to describe myself as an inventor. I mean, that sounds quite grand, but that's, that's how I would like to describe myself. His talk is big, but his inventions aren't. My passion at the moment is building these miniature motorbikes. This is the first little bike I've built. It's built around a Rudge bicycle, which is very fitting because it's meant to be a Rudge motorcycle. Rudge was a British company that used to build bicycles and motorcycles, and they also built components for cars. And I was on eBay scouring bicycles, and I spotted this tiny child's Rudge bicycle from about the 1930s, I think. So I snapped it up, and I thought that would be perfect to build a miniature motorbike. And there's also a little bit of family history, because my great-grandmother used to ride a Rudge motorcycle, a Rudge 350, in the 1920s. And I think it was quite scandalous for uh, a woman to ride a motorbike at that time, and it caused a bit of a stir in her hometown. So I thought it would be great tribute to her to build a little miniature Rudge. He's always had a thing for bikes. I've built some really unusual stuff over the years. I've built a flying bicycle, it's called a Paravello. I've built a bicycle that's got caterpillar tracks and a flamethrower and an ejector seat, and that was called the Bond bike. I've built the world's smallest caravan that got a Guinness World Record. I've built the bicycle with the loudest horn on it. That's also got a Guinness World Record. I've built uh, lots of things, lots of things. This modest man cave is where they all take shape. I don't think this is the world's smallest garage workshop, but um, it must be a contender. Working in such small spaces means you have to work small, and that's why I'm building miniature motorbike. He's already started on a second mini bike. I think the biggest challenge building these bikes, and in fact all my projects, is because I've taught myself how to weld and to do all the electrics and, 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 and all those, that I'm always learning. And this particular one is based on the board track races of 1910. So companies like Indian and Harley Davidson, they were formed around that time to, and they race around wooden tracks, a bit like the velodromes of today. Uh, and they do about 100 miles an hour, no brakes. It was a real, real spectacle. I have a very understanding and long-suffering wife and three kids, and they put up with all my tinkering and inventing and they make sure, which is a good thing, they make sure that all my stuff stays around the side of the house, for the most part. The lack of storage also means Yannick tries to recycle when possible. The last bike that I'm building now is, uses a, an old fire extinguisher tank for the petrol tank. There are old baked bean tins in there, old pair of old motorbike handlebars I chopped, or anything that I can find, old tires, anything. I don't like them to look brand new, I like them to look like they might have just been found in a in a barn somewhere and, and built sort of, I don't know, 100 years ago. Sometimes he even borrows from his son's bikes. I think these are wheels off, off, off his BMX. Don't tell him. I'm sure he'll never know. That's okay, in the end his son Bertie may get to ride this vintage mini bike. When I built my, the first one, my son, who's 10, he couldn't operate. A normal motorcycle would have a hand-operated clutch but I tried doing that and it was too stiff for him to operate, so I thought it, it would be nice to do a, a foot-operated clutch, and I think it looks quite nice as well. This one is probably still a few weeks from being finished. I do a lot of, like, standing back and looking at the stuff I'm making. Stepping back, think, oh, is that right? Do I need to change that? Would that look better? And because I'm working, you know, a day job, I don't do things, you know, it all in one go. Which is not to say that Yannick who doesn't sit still very long, isn't already planning his next project. The sensible thing to do with this bike when it is finished would be to uh, put it on eBay, sell it. But I've got this crazy plan to, to do, now I've got two, I've got this plan to do six, and to do one with a sidecar and do one as a kind of racing bike. They're such great fun to make. I don't know if I'll be able to stop making them now that I've done two. <laughs>